today is, is sort of the kick off the call for nominations um, and that's why we also decided to bring you together uh, at this press briefing because this is only the start of, of a campaign that will, will continue till, until March. Um, this is the third edition of the Green Star Awards. We've been highlighting a couple of, of quite incredible success stories of, of individuals and of organizations. But for this edition, we're also looking for more the political, the higher level, the leaders, um, the hot shots, so to say, in environmental emergencies that we, we would like to recognize. This is not an environmental award and it's not a humanitarian award. It's both. As what we're looking at here, environment is very often a cause for a humanitarian crisis. It can be a contributor and at the same time it can be a consequence of a humanitarian crisis. And it's for these three reasons that we're trying to work together with humanitarian partners and environmental partners um, to, to highlight the need to continue working in this, in this field. There are three main categories, which is response, preparedness, and mainstreaming. And the award ceremony will take place during the, the 20th anniversary celebrations of Green Cross International. And obviously, that event will attract uh, attract uh, a large number of, of leaders in this world, both in the environmental and the humanitarian field. So we do want to want to make best use of, of that event. The disasters will be uh, accelerating, growing in uh, scale, in scope, affecting more and more people worldwide. And Europe is not a safe haven in that sense. During the first 10 years of this century, uh, in Europe, uh, we have uh, lost roughly 80,000 lives due to disasters, and uh, the price of, I mean, economic losses of that period for Europe were also astounding, close to 100 billion in 10 years. I'm very happy that the United Nations has chosen preparedness as its major focus during and after the Rio Plus 20. Uh, and uh, that's why I think that uh, yeah, it's very important to raise awareness and to also spread good practices around the world. And that is exactly what the award is um, focusing to do, to find uh, the cases when people, institutions, governments act in best ways in terms of uh, offsetting the uh, disaster impacts or preparing for them or mainstreaming the activities in terms of preparation for possible disasters. We will be starting a Twitter campaign as well, We're trying to, get to reach a much larger audience than we've been doing 